Welcome back, we're on day eight, and in August our theme was hot colours. So I've got a nice spicy orange fabric here. I've cut out my eye, drawn my new line, and measured where the next line of lettering should sit, and I've measured across to position the eye, and I've pressed that into place. I've got some nice hot pink here. Uh, stitches of the month for August were standalone stitches. And I will link that video in a card at the top of the screen so that you can go and check that out. My favourite of our standalone stitches was sheaf stitch. It's probably the most simple stitch, but I really love how versatile it is. So to make sheaf stitch, we're going to make three vertical stitches. You can see I'm working inside the boundary of the fabric there to make sure that I'm catching my edges down and we're obviously helping to secure the fabric by doing this. So I'm just putting in my third vertical stitch. We stitch them quite close together and in parallel with each other. Then I'm going to bring my needle up at the centre of that stitch, so halfway down it and underneath that centre stitch. I'm going to bring my needle out to the left, wrap it over the top of the three stitches and take it back down underneath in the center of the stitch and when I pull tight it pulls it into a sort of wheat sheaf shape and I'm just going to make a line of these up the center so I think I'm going to do four pink and then I'll see how it looks and I might want to add in a different color this is a very forgiving stitch because you're adding in that wrap across the center it pulls in the threads and it sort of covers over any unevenness in your vertical stitching. So just those three vertical stitches and then up at the back, take the thread over the top and back down at the centre to pull it in. So it's almost like a bow, I suppose. So I'm going to put in some yellow stitches as well because I just think it needed something a little bit extra. So just in the gaps there between the pinks I'm putting in a sheaf stitch in yellow. I could have done these vertically but I quite like the effect of them working horizontally. So hopefully I've left enough of the fabric so that you can actually see the fabric there and I'm just going to secure that on the back. I think I'm using sheepies thread there, so it's just a single strand of sheepies. And there we go. So that's my eye for August in hot colours and with sheaf stitch. Come back tomorrow and we're going to put in our tea. Bye!